And welcome back to Let's Play Magical Star Sign. We're gonna go after that hermit lab. Mostly because he seems to have been robbing everyone in town. Not sure why a dog would want to do that, though. Alright, we should be fully healed and ready to go. Alright, it's you again. Yep, we are. Yeah, we can probably take it, although it would help if we had someone who knew fire magic. Actually, no, it would be water elemental now that I think about it. Fire magic would actually be bad in this area. And we got some new enemies. I'm not sure what these things are supposed to be. I think this one's in, like living kelp or something. Also, they're wood elemental, surprisingly enough. Fire would be useful against them. But yeah, we're not going to get any wood elemental characters for a while. Or fire elemental characters for a while, actually. Oh, didn't do a spell strike. That's fine, though. That being said, maybe Lassie would be better off in the back row for this battle. Alright, they're Hula attacks. Not too bad. It will get annoying sooner or later, though. And they really don't like Lassie right now. Oh wait, did the Hula attack also lower our IQ? That might be bad, actually, if they keep spamming that. Although I don't think debuffs stack in this game. Either way, debuffs tend to be bad in general. Unfortunately, these things are not strong against magic, so we can just pretty much just, like, nuke them down one by one. I might want to heal after this battle, though. Either way, one spell from each of the characters should be, able to be enough to bring them down. Lassie would be doing a lot more damage if these things weren't strong against wind magic, though. I do hope we can get another, another level before we hit the boss. Eh, 27 to EXP. Not bad. Alright, so we saw that dog go this way. In Lover's Cove, apparently. You two are bad at this. Also, Nightfall just hit. Also, that's a giant dragon. Well, they did say he had a giant ice monster under his command. I'll tell you what we should do. We should heal. Uh, yeah, we're both pretty low on HP. Let's just use a quick recovery frog. And, when in doubt, use magic. Let's see how a dragon likes a bit of wind. Huh. Well, that was easy. So yeah, it was just a giant tree after all. You would think they would know about that tree, considering it's like right next to town. But yeah, in the fog, things tend to look scarier than they are. Now then, before we actually touch the uh, hermit crab, let me just make sure everyone's fully healed up. Uh, we could use a bit more MP, but that'll recover during the battle, so it'll be fine. Let's touch it. And of course, it's not going to go down without a fight. Anyways, this is the Hermit Crab. I just realized the Water Planet is in its quadrant, so this could actually be trouble. Since the Hermit Crab is probably going to be one of the more challenging boss fights early in the game. Although we are high enough level and we have some good equipment. Either way, although I am kind of low on healing items, I think we'll be fine though. Especially during the night. 
Once it turns into day, though, we might want to be a bit more careful because we won't have the same damage output. And we're gonna- ooh, wait, we cursed him. Awesome. I think that just lowers his stats for a bit. <coughs> so far, he hasn't used any uh, actual magic, which is fine by me. I forget what curse does, actually. It's kind of a rare ailment, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, he's cowering. So he's just gonna pretty much heal. Right now, I don't think our attacks are gonna do that much, so I'm just gonna keep kicking him. I wanna let my main character recover a bit of MP, too. Although, then again, Lassie recovers enough MP per turn that she's not gonna run out anytime soon. So we might just well, might as well just have her keep using spells. Uh, one more turn of kicking. Yeah, while he's in his shell, we can't really do much. We just need a stall. How much longer until the uh, the war plant is not gonna move out anytime soon? Also, shame they don't tell you what time it is. It would be nice to know that it's going to be daylight soon. Oh well, we have enough MP. Time to keep casting. Luckily he doesn't counter-attack if he's in his shell. So he's pretty much just gonna stay there until he comes out. Also, last he's already back at full MP. Either way, we just need to keep waiting on him until he comes out. There he comes! Oh, he's already low on MP! I'm surprised he hasn't used- oh wow, that actually hurt. I'm surprised he hasn't used any more powerful attacks. I remember ha him having actually, you know, magic. But right now he seems to be content with just smashing into us. Which I'm fine with, because he just went down. Huh. Normally he does a lot more magical attacks, but not this time apparently. Also, I think he just jumped into the ocean. The frigid Arctic Ocean. Well, what do we have here? Well, at least he's apologetic about it. And surprisingly literate for a dog. And we got the toolbox key. And probably all the other, yeah, all the other stolen goods. But more importantly, the toolbox key. Alright, let's get out of here. Looks like that battle ended just in time, too. Daylight is about to hit in probably the next few steps. Right after this battle. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost back to town. Actually, now that I think about it, I could probably just work back to town. Whoops. Oh well, free experience. Alright, now that we have that toolbox key... Let's give it back to Mick. And as a reward, we got the battery pack, aka Mocha's head. Let's go put that back on him. Oh, thank you. We don't have to hand those out personally. I think we could have just given them directly to the police, but... I kind of trust Mick more than the police at this point. Alright, now that we have the head, slash battery, let's just put that back on. Uh, he looks like he's working. There we go. Huh. I think we may have put some wires on wrong. Nope, there we go. Thermonuclear yoke explosion. That sounds like a really weird band name. Ew. Uh, I'm not sure why we came here, actually.
How do you knock a robot unconscious? But yeah, it sounds like all of our classmates went off on their own rockets. And if our experience has anything to do with it, they probably crashed. Moki, you're fired. Oh yeah, he doesn't know about our better rocket, does he? Yep. We still kind of screwed up the landing, but at least it's in one piece. And mostly functioning. And technically stolen. Yeah, no. I don't. I think Seinfeld. Oh yeah, that's right. It's broken, isn't it? The landing wasn't exactly smooth. Well, back to town then. Time to go recruit some dwarves to help fix our rocket. Anyways, so yeah, Mocha, as we've seen before, he uses Earth Magic. And he'll make making catching uh, gummy frogs a lot easier. And with that, Mocha has joined our party. And I'm gonna rearrange my party real quick, because Mocha... Let's take a look at his stats. Mocha is pretty much the physical powerhouse of the team. Unfortunately, that also means he has really low MP. His IQ is not bad, but his MP pool is going to be a problem. Also, he came here naked, but he's a robot, so that's fine. Alright, so that means uh, Lashley's going to be moved to the back row now. Now that we have two front row fighters. Mocha is pretty much going to be punching things for a while until he gets some more MP. Because uh, I think right now, using any of his spells will pretty much just drain him by half. Oh, also, why are we walking back to town? When we could... Where's my map? We can just warp. Never mind, I lied. Game will not let me warp. Oh, actually, while we're here, let's get some healing done. Guess we're walking. Not sure why they were going to make me walk. Anyways, let's heal real quick. And we'll get going. Oh, nope. Clo no, close that. Anyways, Mocha will be useful on this planet. Actually, wait, is it wood or earth that's strong against, uh, water? I think it's earth, actually. Although, it's a shame it's Mocha who has to do it. His MP pool is gonna make spellcasting a bit more difficult. That being said... These things are pretty much immune to magic, so Mocha's going to be really useful here. Also, he's powered up. Shame that doesn't really affect physical attacks. Yeah, it is Earth against uh, water. I can never keep that straight for some reason. Anyways, now that Lassie's in the back row, she can't really hit things with her fist. Slash foot. So she's just going to be spamming magic from now on. Also, Mocha's the slowest character in the game. So he's pretty much going to always go last. Also, we need to get him some new equipment, considering he's also two levels below us at this point. So also going to reach level six, or seven. Alright, ooh, last he learned Healing Wing. That's our second spell. Can we take a look at that, I wonder? Uh, no, we're going to have to wait until we get into a battle before we can take a look at that. Alright, my first priority is gonna get to town and buy Mocha some equipment. I might just get the cheap equipment for now, because I don't think we can afford uh, the newer equipment for everyone. But I want to get at least something on him. Also, I kind of want to get into a battle real quick, just to show off our last new spell. This will do. Mostly because her new spell does a, something a bit different than other spells. A lot of healing spells tend to do this in this game. Uh, you notice how instead of an MP cost as a percentage? 
that's how much uh, it's gonna cost in terms of your MP. So this will actually drain our MP to zero. Let's use it. It's obviously just a direct healing spell, judging by this name, Healing Wind. In the back row, it's AoE, but it drains her of all of her MP. Or at least all of her current MP. That being said, it heals for a ton. On the front row, it's a concentrated heal. Actually, wait, no, why am I using Shadow Die? So how percentage MP spells work is that the more MP it uses, as in the more pure numbers MP it uses, the more powerful. So like that one was really powerful, it cured over 200 HP each, even when diluted in the back row. But in exchange it drained all of her MP. If we used it now, when she has 0 MP, it won't be as powerful, but it'll still drain all of her MP. Percentage based MP or percentage based spells are kind of weird. Not sure if I'm a fan of them. That being said, Lassie's MP regeneration is so good that it doesn't really matter in the long run. Huh, that would actually make sense. Either way, they're pirates. We should probably go at least take a look at them. Mm, I do like cash. It keeps us stocked with gummy bear or gummy frogs and clothing. All right, we might take a look at that later. Right now, let's go check in with the dwarves real quick. We do need our ship repaired. A mystic mouse. Is that a living mouse or like a computer mouse? Because in this game it could be either, honestly. Alright, sounds like they want to fix our rocket, but um, it's way too cold for them to go outside. Ah. Yeah, maybe it's a good idea we don't go anywhere with that thing yet. Well, Mocha does kind of look like an espresso machine, but sounds like we need to fix this cold before they'll do anything. Might as well go check out the pirates then. But first, before we do anything, let's get Mocha some equipment. How much money do I have on me? Uh, set. So, ooh, wait, oh, wait, I accidentally hit leave shop, whoops. Let me see, can we actually afford some good equipment for him? Alright, let's get him a hair clip so he can have some more MP regeneration. Rubber boots. Oh yeah, his speed is like way lower than everyone else's. Tour shirt, let's actually get two of those. Uh, get one of those. Get him a bandana. Did we already buy a hair clip? Yes, we did. Oh, we didn't buy him any shoes, though. Oop, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so hair clip. Two, to no, two tour shirts. Uh, wrist for mocha. And a bandana. Uh, we can't afford any more green frogs, though. I do kind of want to restock on those. I think we only have, like, two left. I might go grind a bit of money. Alright, first things first. Put everything on. Uh, tour shirts. Why oh, do I have a vinyl shirt in my inventory? Alright, that'll help. Let's put a tour shirt on you. And I think we're good. Oh wow, we have one beer left. Yeah, let's sell everything. Do you have anything else I can sell? Rusty screws. No, we want to keep those. We want to keep those. We might want to sell that slippy oil, actually. I don't really use it that much. Alright, that's good. And then let's get a few green frogs. Two will do. Yeah, let's just get two for now. With Lassie, we can just heal in battle without frogs. Alright, so... He said the pirates were based in the north. Uh, 
Um, well, for once you guys were a bit on the right side. It was the Hermit Lab who did it. And we got some rubber boots. Which is cool, because Mocha needed shoes. Actually, I don't think anyone has rubber boots on yet. Let's just equip those to the main character. And then let's put the wooden clogs on Mocha. That'll make him slightly faster. Alright, let's go find that cave. Yep. Alright, all the way back inside Dragon God Cave. Uh, didn't we already talk to him before? Alright, well, before we go, might as well go talk to his brother. I forgot we had to do this. Well, looks like he made it back home at least. And I don't think he likes us very much after what happened. Sure, why not? Yeah, he wasn't re responsible for the ice, but he did kind of rob the town blind. And we got some pants. Yay? Well, free equipment's free equipment. So let me see, I think that's a uh, chest armor. Increase maximum, ooh, that's actually really good. And it doesn't seem to debuff any of my stats. Nope. All right then. Well, we got some long johns. Actually, aren't long johns like uh, overalls? I always thought they were like jeans. At least as a kid, I always thought they were like jeans. Time to head to the Dragon God's Cave. It looks like it's over this way. Oh wait, with my increase of HP, I think we still need a heal. Yeah, eh, that'll be fine. I think there'll be a healing pot somewhere around here. Although it might be frozen still. Ooh, radishes. Yep, tails are the healing items in this game that uh, cure status effects. We're gonna want to hoard wakey tails just because we can't really buy those right now. These ones actually have some new information for us for once. Mostly about items. Uh, we already know about that. Yes, we have. We've given pizza several already. Speaking of pizza, he's right over there. Alright, so pretty base. No, I don't want to talk to you, Malcolm. I want to talk to pizza. We have some sugar stuff. Okay, pizza had an enemy inside him, apparently. This is fine. We can take care of it. Oh, hey, wind plant in uh, formation. But yeah, Lassie right now is recovering just enough MP to... This thing is light elemental. That's actually really rare. That being said, we're gonna mess it up now. Considering our dark elemental character is powered up. And it's gone already, never mind. But yeah, right now Lassie's recovering enough MP that even if she uses all of it on healing, uh, she's enough to still cast spells. Yep, we will create a warp point. And I might just warp back to town real quick just to heal up. Because that is the Dragon God Cave. Well, that's not really how magic works, but you're not wrong. In fact, if it takes a bit of an earthquake to uh, open this place up, let's use a bit of earth magic.
Oh, that worked. Kind of expected that to just fall apart. Considering that's... Oh, wait. Well, it's open. We just kind of broke it. Hopefully that wasn't too valuable. Or ancient. We probably could have achieved that same result just by punching it a bunch. Anyways, way in is now open. I don't think we can uh, take this. Nope. Good job, Mocha. Anyways, next time on Let's Play Magical Star Sign, uh, in between episodes, I'm gonna run back to town and heal up real quick. But then we're gonna go head inside the Dragon God Cave. So, till then. <laughs>